Hello, my name is Andrew Campbell, and this is episode 8 of Hide and Seek with Wireshark. And today I've got a fairly fun um, hide and seek for us. Inside, somewhere in this packets of 1,700 packets a, a, or so, I've got something hidden in there, and I've got a actually a secret message attached to one of the packets. And it's actually in readable readable text. And so we're going to go through and find it. But first, before we get there, we actually should eliminate some of the items that are we don't need to see. So first things first, I always go through and I do a, a quick a quick drive-by to see what what's what's happening inside here. And we can see that a lot of traffic is coming from 10.13 to uh, 173 over here. And there's a lot of push ack, a lot of acts. And it's coming from one machine to another. And from from what I know, from what I see in here, I, I know that this is, this is, there's a 443 port. It's happening on a regular port uh, at the destination. I'm suspecting that this is actually um, sort of a streaming. Maybe this is a YouTube video being being watched. And if you can see coming up over here, we've got some um, darker colors that are going to be arriving. Let's take a look. You see some different activity here. So this is we can make it. We can gather that this is likely our our gateway for our network here. We're back to back to what I believe is the is streaming. Let's let's actually remove this this uh stuff from our our scan here. So I'm gonna right click, applies filter, selected, and I'm going to remove this. And I actually want to get rid of all references to this. So I'm gonna change that from DST, which is destination. I'm gonna change it to ADDR. It goes green. Hit enter. And so now we just have, we're just displaying 428 packets, which is great. Um, let's keep going. And so right away we got some other, some more weird traffic here. So there's uh, our gateway is being um, traffic going towards our gateway, but we can see right away that we've got something strange here. Is that this is a weird IP address? This is a weird IP address. And it's going towards our gateway, which is internal, uh, internally facing. Uh, yeah, right here, there's another one, 2.158. So this isn't, that's not normal. And it, 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 it looks like it's appearing to change quite a bit. Um, so we can actually make make sort of a an assumption here is that there's actually a random, random source, uh, potentially a flood. If we look at the, the ports, the sending ports here we got it's going up sequentially and it's always going towards port 80 so we can make a make an assumption here that there was a, a flood happening on our gateway and the there's a there's a flood happening on the gateway and then it was likely being a spoofed random source from somebody internally and so we also get some we get some pings that are happening as well. So we keep going down, looking at, looking for some weird things. Well, we know right away that the um, the traffic is there's some abnormal traffic coming from a machine on our on our network here. Then we do also are also are seeing actually some ICMP packets that are happening fairly regularly regularly at this point. 10.13 is sending it out, coming back, we have some more streaming communication, looks like here, I'm going to get rid of our, our TCP. Oh, okay. 
And so right away we've got a... It just shows us that the only other packets that we had in here was ICMPs. So the majority of the traffic for the 1700 packets was was a uh, was a uh, TCP, and I've removed it, and I've I've gotten rid of this, which is probably a little bit redundant here, but that's fine. Uh, if we look at 1013, and if we go down over here, we can actually see that the here we do have our secret message, and it says this is a secret message. And so this is actually fairly easy to do, you know, uh, using the tool nping, you can actually attach secret messages or whatever to a to a ping or an ICMP packet. And so here I've used nping, and I'm sending a uh, a certain number of packets towards the the gateway, and this is actually attaching an ASCII there. So this is this is a secret message. And by filtering filtering through our our packets here, we can actually see the secret message, and it could be it could be anything really, which is kind of an interesting way to I don't know send some kind of data or send some kind of message right to whomever whoever is going to be reading this. Um, well, there you go. So this these are some techniques to to attach secret messages to packets to observe secret messages to packets basically like keep your eye on on the hex window and you'll 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 you may see something of interest so there you go uh, I, I showed you some techniques to filter stuff out we observed some normal traffic and got rid of it so that we, we clean things up and then we also uh, looked at how to attach secret messages and how to find secret messages all right if you found this video informative go ahead and subscribe uh, and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye.